national dignitaries that are here with us and then the film industry the community all of you coming here and honoring this invitation it is awesome when uh, when we got this uh, portfolio the many people sorry you can many people are asking me can we meet we have this issue we have that issue and this seemed to be disappearing now people are coming together we are having a cocktail out at KICC, I mean, and we're not fighting. You know, you can't have a cocktail here uh, if you have issues, because you can be thrown far down. It's a deal. But uh, now we are that comfortable to be able to come and share and discuss amongst ourselves and then talk about the many opportunities that uh, the Kenya has. And, and really, the continental free trade area has not only moved us from the you know, 50 million Kenyans, 350 million in East Africa, we are now 1.4 billion. And with the digital economy or the digital marketplace that we want to put in place, it means then we can be able to use the whole continent as a marketplace for us so that we can get our films out and then take our films to the rest of the world. And I can tell you it's an exciting time to be in Kenya, to be in Africa, and more so to be in film. The creative sector is one that is transforming. I think the messages you're saying that the politicians should be hearing, you are the best place to, to put those messages in film, put them on radio, put them on TV, so that everyone can actually take those messages and know how we need to see the next government structured so that it ensures we take full advantage, create the many jobs, but more so educate people let people know the truth about many of the things that are happening because that's actually one of our main challenges. People knowing, you know, what is true and what is not true in this day and age. So earlier in the morning we were all launching the strategic plan for cyber security for the country. And, you know, one of the key things is how do we ensure whatever we are told and whatever we see, whether it is true or not. And I think the creative sector is one that can really educate and give people that opportunity. So I'm very proud to be here. One of the first trips that we took, we went to, to Hollywood, and all of them were asking us, so uh, one, do you have uh, people uh, that can actually work in this sector, that understand this sector? Do you have the equipment? And do you have a location map? 
where we can see what locations you have. So I'm very proud that we can today officially launch our location map for Kenya and where people can be able to, wherever they are in the world, be able to access and be able to see where they can come and film. And you know, in Kenya, we have so many, many places. I think in the Trukana, they have even uh, vibranium. I don't know if many of you know, when you look at the sun, it's very different uh, from the rest of the country. So, so there are many places and many things that we can actually be able to showcase, including our people. So I believe the next uh, directory or database that will be launched will be about you know, even the companies, the skills, all the people that we have, so that it becomes easier uh, for those who want to come uh, and set up films here. So I can talk a lot about many things, but I'm just excited to be here and just uh, also just looking at Nairobi and the way it has really expanded. We've had over 10 years um, of just being able to see growth and development of this sector. If we can begin to document and put films that actually show all these great things that are going on, I think that would be, would be awesome. In terms of whether government uh, is going to continue and that who you should talk to in government, I think that's the wrong way to look at this. In about 59 days, we're going to go to elections. And it is you that will decide which way we should go, isn't it? And so based on that, you can decide based on the manifestos, make sure that what you need is put in there so that that's what will be implemented. And with film, you have the ability to make sure you can convert the whole uh, country to see the direction and the way you want to go. You know, many things have been happening in Hollywood. I want them to happen in Nairobi so that we can see how, as a country, we can expand. So I don't want to say much more than that, but to thank you all, especially the industry, for the time that you've taken to come together to look at the opportunities and see how we can synergize. We've had great partners have uh, been able to help us as government and as all the different agencies to be able to progress this uh, sector and the country and we hope that that is going to continue even post August and even for many years uh, to come and that we will be here celebrating and even more things uh, will be happening for us. So I'm looking forward uh, to more films and more creativity uh, going on but as we continue, it is my privilege and pleasure to officially launch our locations and database for Kenya. So we clap because it's a big uh, achievement. Oh, at least now I can see you on the screens. From here, I'm like talking to myself. <laughs> but it is great. And uh, I think with those few remarks and with those few words, let me say, in our Zekana. Thank you very much.